do? Whoop whoop. Hello? 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 What? We have returned. We're here. It's club time once again. Yeah. Did you guys write your poems? <laughs> They're going to be shared with the rest of the club, so I hope you did. I hope they make the class go a flutter. But anyways, come moving on. We're yeah. back playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, Harvey isn't here. He's he's gonna be a little late. Uh, he had things to do in the real world. The uh, television let him out of the void. Temporarily. Because it demanded, uh, you know, sacrifices. So he's out getting those. Um, and we're still here in yeah. the void with the TV. But that's okay. Because we have four lovely anime girls. To keep us company in the meantime. Yeah. Oh, going back real quick, it's, it's still very interesting that the TV accepts ring pops as sacrifices. Yeah, you know, um, if I were an omniscient, omnipotent entity that also doubles as an entire plane of existence, I'd be cool with ring pops. <laughs> ring pops, juicy drop pops, uh, baby bob. Pops, you know, yeah, but at this point, you should, those. yeah, but it specify ring pops. <laughs> I would have been more understanding with just candy in general, yeah, but you like, say candy in general, and then like they come back with like something lame, they just come back with Withers Originals. Hey, <laughs> I like Withers, I know. Uh, that's why I make a great punchline. Hey, bring me, bring me a blue raspberry juicy drop pop or some more other surprise. <laughs> None of that sugar-free shit, though. I I will smite you if you bring sugar-free Werthers. Now, now I'm just thinking like a, an omniscient and both. Omnipotent being just me. I require sacrifice. Oh, what sacrifice do you need? Virgin's blood or Kool Aid? It's <laughs> like okay. But Kool -Aid it has it is. to be fruit punch. <laughs> Only fruit punch. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> it has the opposite uh feeling as that meme. Of... <laughs> it was that vibe. <laughs> like, what do you want to get? Like, for what do you want to eat? The souls of the innocent. Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> no, two bagels. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what would you like, sir? A bagel. The souls of the innocent. Two bagels. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then the other version is also. <laughs> How would you like your coffee? As dark as my soul gives the milk. All right, here you go. <laughs> just, just whole milk. I was like, huh. But anyway. That's about Harvey. Yeah, that's Harvey. All right. <laughs> Harvey asks for coffee, but what he means is just milk. You know, it wouldn't be the first time he went to a Starbucks and ordered milk. Yeah. What he, what he says he wants coffee, what he actually wants is just some heated milk. Anyways. The milk. Like, like I said earlier, we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club again. Right, um, we swear we are going to play it. Yes, we will play it. Uh, we're, we're definitely fucking around, you know. Um, But also, that means uh, be warned. Uh, oh yeah, shit, let me put the warning up. Despite appearances... Oh no, that's the... <laughs> Doki Doki. That's the wrong warning. The... Here's the warning. Dark game. I accidentally put the Comic Sans up. <laughs> you did put the Comic Sans up. Um, <laughs> but you know, here's the actual so, warning. If you uh, want to know more in depth of what is in here, there's the command for you. Yep. There's some dark shit here. 
Um, but also we do have a mode enabled in the game itself in which prior Whatever. to a particularly heavy scene, it will give a warning. Yeah. Um, so you won't be blindsided by it. Um, with that being said... Oh. All right, <laughs> speak of the devil. Howdy. He, he's here. Uh, anyways, with that being said... <laughs> Glad the rain pop bit managed to last that long. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go to our club meeting, guys. Are you ready to go to club, Harvey? Yeah, I'm excited for club. Alright. Yep. <laughs> That's not where you're supposed to be. There we go. <laughs> you know, there are um, Doki Doki Literature Club mods. Um, I kind of want to make a, a mod just for us that just rewrites the game to be a gaming club. <laughs> Four gamer girls. Uh, all right, you guys ready to log in? Yeah, I'm ready to yeah, log in. Yeah, let's log. Root. Root. Oh, yeah, I forgot we oh, made yeah. this the background. <laughs> we did. Go. Uh, you know, Eric, uh, you should make our avatars a little bigger. You know, we've got the room for it in between the text panels. Uh, let's go on well, until we, we get the to the text then... files again. Yeah, that too. Let's see the dialogue box. But also, if we have the room, then Harvey can just be in his own seat instead of sitting on top <laughs> of my head. <laughs> Harvey, please get off my desk. <laughs> uh, ooh, music. It's like in public school, you sit at your desk and some asshole keeps trying to sit on it and you're like, get out of my fucking way. <laughs> yeah, you know like you're not a, you're not the main character in whatever high school teenage show you think you're in. You're just you know, sitting on my desk. I apologize, but uh, I'm going for the Flores Lava World Championship. Mm. Um. So well. Yeah. Uh. Then please burn. Uh, no, thank you. You're gonna throw your ass in lava like Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I did save, that, right? Um... Okay, cool, I did save. Yeah, yeah, we saved a few times. Anyway, let's back to the challenge, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, phew. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I forgot our name was Never. It is Never. All right. Whew. Guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. Let's sigh. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess that's why I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. 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 I sign Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read them in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows fur in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> this language. Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem on the, to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? 
Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Clearly about the feeling of giving up. How's that cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was going for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. I never did, too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Capiche? First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> I never liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki slowly stands up. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Never's about to get jumped. Oh god. Hey, Quick, out the window. Howdy, Panda. Our VIP. Oh, yeah, you made him a VIP, that's right. Yeah. Hell yeah, we did. Panda deserves. <laughs> VIP stands for very important panda. <laughs> very important panda, yes. Oh, always glad to see you around, Panda. Maybe that's what you gotta change your Twitch name to. The very important very Panda. Important Panda. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Are you clipping your nails right now? Uh, that's what maybe. it sounds like. Harvey. Harvey. Look, I had a really long nail. <laughs> At least mute yourself. <laughs> I didn't think it was that loud. It's, it's a, a nail fucking nail clipper. Nail clipper. <laughs> of course, it's that loud. Rip me. <laughs> You're our very important panda. All right. Um. So Natsuki says, "Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri." Oh, hey, her fangs back. All the music. Eh? That's not what I. Uh. You. You're just. Yuri sends up as well. What are we Maybe doing? You're this? just jealous that never appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. You coming at me? You coming at me? Where's my fucking pocket knife? For some reason, my brain said this. Uh, decide to add a day right here. And so I was like, they that they never appreciate my advice. It's like mm -hmm. what? Also, Harvey definitely has room to get in his own desk. Oh yeah, let me switch over real quick. And Panda's calling you out, Harvey. <laughs> uh, Harvey will possess whoever they speak about. Uh, anyways, that, that's the game. There we go. Don't move the game, you fool. They're perfect. I'm tiny. Yeah. He's small. I'm yeah, just in the distance. Be. It's because you're Natsuki. Exactly. I also should be. Ramp on. There we go. 
You're not Keen Sayori. They're both tiny. <laughs> Everything's as all should be. That's all things should be. Alright. <clears throat> huh? And do you know how he didn't... And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Little huh. bitch. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh. Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as never started showing up. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... <laughs> this doesn't, hey, this doesn't involve, involve you. you. <laughs> ah. uh, I don't like fighting, guys. Good, because no. you ain't fighting. Suddenly, <laughs> both girls turns this towards me. Match. As if they just noticed I was standing there. And and right there and then, I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> For death oh, was no. staring me in the face. <laughs> That's it. It's Bring Poopa out your fucking Wars stick, now. Yuri. Anna. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! She, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That ain't true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poem all convoluted for no reason, huh? Because that's what she likes. It's just Meaning like, you like simple it, writing? You know, not force them to have figured it out. Force you to figure out my fist. Huh? Alright. Help me explain that to her, never. Why'd you suddenly go so deep? He <laughs> did. <laughs> that voice changed. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse, never. <laughs> hey, it's me, Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> it's it sounds like you're gonna you <laughs> It sounds like you're gonna tell Arthur that you've got a plan any time now. <laughs> hey, you wanna read Lollipop Girls with me? Anyway. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Never? Uh, uh. <laughs> he did switch accents, yeah. Well? Well? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You went from a New Yorker to a very deep south. But only for a moment. Yeah. The New York returned. You know, it'd be like that. Uh, wait, what? Shit. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, whom, well, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. You also went southern. So, of course, whomever it's going to be. agree you. with. <laughs> Sayori, help! 
Yeah, I'm I'm with Natsuki on this. I don't know. I don't... Like... Where are you throwing your... <laughs> You're like just behind right now for this choice. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be helpful because my instinct is Yuri. Because I don't like Natsuki. She did start this. Because <laughs> she like called out Yuri on her writing style and was basically like, mine's better because it's easier to understand. But then got insulted. <laughs> All right, so decided. you're Yuri, and then yeah. Harvey says Natsuki. Well, perfect. I just go say Yuri, and everyone's yeah. And everyone's okay. But now I'm going Yuri. <laughs> Natsuki. <clears throat> You're right that I like your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean, though. You, should, you shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion's different. That ain't what happened at all. That's literally what happened. You wouldn't even take my poem seriously. You literally didn't take her seriously either. You just called it fancy and put it down. <laughs> Uh, I understand. Yuri. You're both in the wrong. <laughs> You're both in the wrong. <laughs> I only liked Monica's. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you all of y'all. Monica was yeah. the only good one. <laughs> You're both in the wrong, but Yuri didn't start it, so that's why I side with her. <laughs> You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. There's the voice. <laughs> we found it. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Hey. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Um... But Natsuki, you took it way too far! Yuri means what if you told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That is exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Yeah. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. <laughs> She's trapped. Whoops. At this point, being defiantly only defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, uh, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. The Yuri. Sorry. Oh. Sayori <laughs> <laughs> just says her own name like a Pokemon. The Yuri. The Yuri. The Yuri. To Yuri, she doesn't need to. You know, I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at y'all with your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own pole up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she scrum she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. You really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her shin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and I sit in at Jason's chair. Let's sigh. 
Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well... Alright, I believe you. Wow, that was easy! <laughs> I have low self-esteem. Thanks, Never, you're too kind. <laughs> I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Eh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsuki said? About, you know. I would never do anything so shameful. So. Eh? What did Natsuki say? Uh... Um... Well, never mind that. I'm gonna make some tea. Ah, good idea! Make it enough for more than one person, alright? No, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! My self-esteem! Oh. <laughs> Wait, you should show me your boobs just to prove that you aren't patting them. <laughs> that way Fucked we can prove that to be key wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll never truly know the truth. In the name of truth, man. <laughs> In the name of truth, we want to see your boobs. Oh god, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. That's terrible. That's Where's Monica. <laughs> that's been said in an anime before. <laughs> oh yeah, no definitely. This guy out. Oh yeah, no definitely. Oh yeah. That's the part that that's all. Yeah, this is a horror anime. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some tea. Goodbye. God. Wind slash. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? A lot of fun. It fucking sucked. <laughs> well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, mostly. Never? How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. People was... like boobs, Panda. It is true. Cool. Yeah. Just remember, be respectful. I'm looking respectfully. <laughs> Respect is the biggest turn on, man. Tubular, bro! It's all about consent. Yeah, man! High awesome. five! <laughs> <laughs> I know, love this fictional, like, dude pro posse, skater posse, somewhere. <laughs> that's, like, su that's, like, super about it. The, like, the skate club is actually right outside the window. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Women's rights! <laughs> they're all... They're all about <laughs> women's rights. They're always drinking that respect women juice. Yeah. Respect it's not women. the skate club, it's the respect women club. <laughs> respect <laughs> women juice is the greatest hydration. <laughs> yeah! Drink it every day to help me make, make the sickest tricks, bro! Oh my! <laughs> I love this stupid fictional club now. <laughs> I 
In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Oh, boy. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Blah. And this is actually a PSA. <laughs> <laughs> this is a PSA. Remember, remember everybody, drink your respect women juice. <laughs> I what? chug mine daily. Stay hydrated. And stay respectful. With respect woman juice. <laughs> Zero calories. Now Hell I'm just yeah. imagining... Now I'm just imagining like a fucking 90s commercial. <laughs> for like a sports drink. But it's for, but it's for respect women juice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's hilarious to me. Uh, with any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Never. Ready to walk home? <laughs> oh no, I was actually looking at that clover outside. They look radical. Sure. I heard they respect good. women. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so Yuri beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Yuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. So Yuri, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? <clears throat> no, 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 no. <sighs> That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? Oh no, she's drunk. <laughs> no, I don't hate oh, no. them. I have to pump up my air heels. <laughs> I gotta bump him real quick. He <laughs> slowly, slowly starts growing up again. <laughs> I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why to make good friends with you. Phew. Finish pumping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, never. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Whoops. But I think a lot of stuff, and I think everyone really <laughs> likes you. Sorry about that. That. <laughs> Every day is going so going to be so much fun. Every day is awesome. Let's sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? <laughs> well, just have to see about what the future holds, Sayori! I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said, uh, I said uh, more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Like, this guy's essentially like, yeah, but Sayori, I've known these women for two days and they haven't fucked me yet. <laughs> He's like, you don't understand the kind of situation I'm in. I'm here to get laid. I didn't join the literature club to read and write poems. Who do you think I am? I'm gonna crush puss. <laughs> the skater club is a good help. Respect women. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm an anime protagonist. Let's do this.
Ah, shit. Poem time. Save. Save right now. I mean, we don't have a challenge this time. That's true, but we should save. We should uh, save, but yeah. It's good that we don't have a challenge. Do you want to impose a challenge real quick? No, thanks. <laughs> but it could help us pad out ten minutes real quick. We no, don't need that. I, I, I would like to go to sleep early tonight. Eric, you need to <laughs> pad out ten minutes when we talk about fucking ring pops. <laughs> <laughs> and how that's what the TV accepts for sacrifices. Anyway, bubbles. Well, what do you say, Harvey? Yeah, let's do bubs. Bubs? Uncanny. Harvey? I think you. I want to see who likes Incongruent. the Incongruent. Yeah, yeah actually. after image. Uh huh. You know, fair, fair. Marshmallow. Infinite. Nibbles. Fireflies. Uh, what did you say, Harvey? Fireflies. Would you believe your eyes? If 10 million fireflies partied. Party! Party hard. Party. Let's party. Party hard mod. You're you're a killer at a party. It's all fireflies. <laughs> you're just putting them in jars. <laughs> party. Choose party. Yeah, let's party hard. I love that how I complain everything I think of when party comes up. Ambient. Ooh, kiss. We want to kiss these girls. Let's kiss. You're not fair enough, Harvey. This... Yeah. Yeah, Inferno. Graveyard. We want to send these girls to kissing Inferno. Because you said that now. <laughs> Dang. Here. Sure, yeah. Let's do Pier. There it is. I could not find it for the life of me for some reason. Mill Massacre. Come on, let's do milk. Which M word are you going to choose there? Adventure. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> I still get for it. Are we? Just say bastard. It said faster. The huh. word that's on the screen. Oh, I thought you were talking about Uncle Fester. Yeah, Uncle <laughs> Fester. Let's write a poem about him. <laughs> yeah, Harvey? You know, let's uh, make this an Adam Family's poem. I love the 90s movies. They were great. Yeah, I heard they're making an Adam Family animated too. Yeah. A uh, holiday if we're going Adam's family. Get a whole play yeah. about Thanksgiving. And then Wednesday makes it up. Yeah, uh, Harvey? Yeah, yeah. Let's do holiday. Ooh, Electricity. Lux. Like Uncle Fester. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta turn on that light bulb. Yeah. Yuri likes electricity. That feels right. Well, how about now? Daydream. Alright. Doki Doki. Like the literature club. You raise a good point, Harvey. Thank you, thank you. Melancholy. I love that word. It's a good word. Yeah, nice three dollar word. Music. Skirt. Anxiety. Oh, we already have you. Yeah, that's why you choose it. 
But who would like ever choose day. anxiety? Oh, I can't believe Eric said that to you, Rebecca. <laughs> I mean, if you had a choice, would you have chosen anxiety? <laughs> I'd always choose Beck. I mean, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> He's talking about my my severe anxiety disorder. <laughs> I'm talking about that <laughs> disorder. Yeah. The answer is no. I wouldn't choose. I wouldn't choose to be mentally ill. <laughs> exactly. So we're going in that sense of that. Ooh, strawberry. Oof. Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, I wrote for lot of supplies about it. <laughs> One day I'll be able to speak, right? Vivacious. Jesus or Christ. Or color. <laughs> Ooh, color. color. What's your favorite color? Ooh, Starscape. Oh, yeah, let's do Starscape. Yeah, Starscape. Oh. <laughs> you really like that, hey? Yay. Stars! Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. It's gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scenes greet me. <laughs> Star Fox, please. <laughs> Hi, never. My mouse died for a second. All right. <laughs> Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in good mood today. <laughs> I'm just not still used to you. I'm just still <laughs> not used to you being in the club. That's all. <laughs> wow, you're so not used to me in here. You can't speak anymore. Norm Japanese is my first language. It's hard. <laughs> Speaking English all of a sudden. I don't know why we're doing it. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyway. Did you just call me simple? What? No, maybe? Speaking of which, <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. I could go me for too. your flesh. Will you come to buy a snack with me? I mean, I have uh, some uh, dried mango here if you want some. Or would you rather have some of these nerds I also have? I <laughs> love nerds. <laughs> no thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. <laughs> you don't know me! Jumps out window for no apparent reason. <laughs> I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your? Why don't we take a look at your purse, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> that all of a sudden. I like that that deflates her a bit. It's like, uh, no reason really. I just want to look at it. Um. Uh. Sayori so nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its content and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> Ignore the ammunition. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Fair. Life's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. <clears throat> but there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves. Number one option. You're guilty. <laughs> this sounds like the deduction in a detective game. Yeah. Uh, no, but then you have to convince everyone three more times. 
Malika comes in with an objection. Objection! <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. The cops are already showing up. If you make me feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> that was a... <laughs> her. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought that was part of his the bit he was doing, and then I actually read the line. It's like, wait, no, he just <laughs> read my line. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I did not. I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. Back. It was just something in my book. Three. Tell never to let me borrow some money. That's. Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can <laughs> responsibly afford. Yuri, show him his <laughs> boobs and then I'll steal his money while he's distracted. No. <laughs> and frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough, Retribution. Damn, fine. I'll show my boobs and you do this thievery. <laughs> I... But I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed in my book. <laughs> I really love when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to s accept the revolution. <laughs> People are revolution. I will be murdered for my crimes as a capitalist. <laughs> Until have my head roll in the streets. Me, me and everyone else will be slaughtered like the pigs we are. Retribution. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Retributions for all the crimes we've committed against everyone else. That. So, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? There sure is. Shut up, I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her fool you. So Yuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. It's <laughs> that one meme of the, like, kitten with the caption, <laughs> he's a master manipulator. <laughs> <laughs> Also, tonight on Capitalist News. <laughs> I love that panda. That's a great panda. <laughs> you, you wouldn't have come if there weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Come on, give me some more credit than Dad say, Yuri. But dude, you very much was the only reason you came. Literally, <laughs> that was literally the case. Yeah. And these fickle bitches. <laughs> I don't know where something smacks the Yuri in the face as it tumbles into the desk. 
What? Oh. My retribution. <laughs> yeah. Ow. What was? Eh? Cookie. <laughs> Did someone throw a cookie at her? Mood. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Attribution. No, that is restitution. None. <laughs> it's because the original word was retribution. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, I got too literal. <laughs> Curse you, literature! <laughs> you say that, Monica just snaps your neck. <laughs> oh, she did say retribution. <laughs> er, no, never says retribution. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It's totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's Oops. so nice of you, I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Mood. Jeez, just eat it! Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Ow! So good! Oh. Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Man, don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. I certainly do. I cut my lip the other day. You like that? Uh, once, right. once you bite your tongue, it gets easier to bite, and then you bite it yeah. again. It never stops. It's and then you. Cycle. I've lost many friends to that. I have, like, a scar on the inside of my mouth from biting my cheek too many times. Oof. Same. I have a scar in the middle of my tongue from e eating too much sour spray. <laughs> I have no idea if I have a scar in my mouth. <laughs> we'll find out next time we hang out. No. Oh. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> Come on, I've been I've been waiting to use my dentist equipment on someone. Why do you have dentist equipment? I got it on sale. It's more sanitary than if you just <laughs> stuck his fingers in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but still, how else am I going to inspect people's mouths? How much you need to inspect people's mouths? I mean, look, you know, I'm kissing people on the reg now. You know, I uh, you know you gotta inspect their mouths to make sure they're good for kissing. <laughs> now just imagine a, um, a moment like you, the two of you are going in for a kiss, and then you just like, oh wait, and you just pull out your dentistry kit, like open up real quick. Uh... <laughs> That's a surefire way to never kiss someone ever again. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Oh, you have a cavity, you know, like right on that molar. <laughs> Ooh, you should probably get that checked out. But other than that, yeah, I'm no, seeing pretty good. And just tries to go back for it, <laughs> go back for kicks. <laughs> and it's just guys being dudes checking, <laughs> checking each other's mouths for scars. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to. <laughs> Going through a lot over just one cookie. Nazi takes a bite of her own cookie. Aha, uh -huh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. 
I'm still really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so Yuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her in her arms around her. What? I read that wrong. I'm not gonna reread it. Oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Fucking take your soft lips off my cheeks, okay? Cookie still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> it was the long con. Always after the cookie. <laughs> Hey, there's the little thing. Mm -hmm. Seriously, just do that? <laughs> no. That was a bad sound. <laughs> <laughs> Not better. <laughs> <laughs> Not better still. <laughs> Not better. <laughs> Look, at this point, you, you just take it, man. It, you're not getting any better. <laughs> now, fool, Sayori struts away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Natsuki lances around. Monica is in the club room. Ah. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just around, you know, she had to do something to do today. Probably Pretty just around, popular. she had to do something to do some today. <laughs> eh? You don't think that she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. A side piece? She's probably what? more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Man, you guys don't give yourself credit, Jesus. Excuse me? Who's love my fucking accent? Screen wipe? What the fuck? Sorry, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are! I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica closed the ch club <laughs> over her boyfriend. <laughs> Wanna try that again? <laughs> no. Alright. Just leave that Freudian slip. Freudian <laughs> slip. You're so strong willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> Makes sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? Look at them all. Look at them. Look at them. Look 
Um, look at this ensemble. Look at these girls. It's a one, it's a two, it's a three, it's four girls. Four I'm lucky glad you girls. can fucking count, genius. <laughs> Congratulations, never. Look, it's one, two, three girls above average height. <laughs> I wasn't hey. aware you played music as well, Monica. <laughs> uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yeah. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, never. Get out of my way. <laughs> it does look like she she just bumped them out of the way. Yeah. She <laughs> hip checked them all. <laughs> she just got a pose. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. Uh, I didn't get that. that, that. Nah. <clears throat> ah. Okay, here we go again. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck! Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Nasuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Nasuki disappeared into the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book as she, that she lent to me. More than that, she seemed to be on the first few pages. Uh. Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. We both flush and look away. Then we look back at each other, see each other again. We blush and look away. And we continue this routine for ten whole straight minutes. Mm -hmm. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this. I s sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you come- how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just... happened to buy two of them. I see! There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me. I decided to let it go. 
Let it go. It'll definitely start being soon. Oh wait, he was saying that out loud. <laughs> I'll definitely start reading it soon. Are you okay? Why did you sing that? Don't worry about it, okay? Hide Scabby of Frozen behind his back. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> also, also, his previous statements to me with any book. I'm gonna read that book soon. A year mm -hmm. later. Oh yeah. Me too. <laughs> Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... Mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled, Portrait of Markov. Ah, interesting. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Me too. Basically... It's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. sister. <laughs> but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. You didn't even, like, read the, the jacket of the book you borrowed? <laughs> Apparently not. Gosh. Damn, dude. I'm afraid of work. I try to read as few as possible. Don't you know words have power? I'll never let them have power over me. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, never? <laughs> that doesn't sound that far off from something I read back in middle school, honestly. Yeah. I would read that book. No. In theory. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> and I would buy that book and then keep it on my bookshelf for five years. <laughs> no, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind keeps seems to be completely different. What's the, those kinds of stories? They challenge you to look at life from a new, sh from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals. Or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then, suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. There you are, speak up. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. In fact, you've just gained more of it. <laughs> well... I guess it's alright then. 
But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. The Var oh. Burden would be proud. Reading uh, fucking rainbow, bro! Hell yeah! Take a look! <laughs> Don't you know? It's in a book! You can do anything! <laughs> anyway... That's... Well... That's true... In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you were... S you said you were looking forward to it. Uh... Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright! It's fine if I sit here, right? I sit into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh... Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, uh, reading in company with someone. Oh, it was, Panda, it wasn't it was, an accident. It was anything but accidental, Panda. <laughs> that was completely on purpose. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand that what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. I mean, a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I wish that she won't... that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. Hey, stop reading just... from my book. You're stealing my words. My power! Yuri, you, you really... You really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Uh... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk onto its up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Um... I suppose so. Yuri timidly crosses her own- closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are- okay. Okay, now that's better. <laughs> Eric was leaning in. <laughs> ah, sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way. It's as I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah! Ugh. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah! I do the same with the, my right arm to the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slices it under her thumb after it flips to her side. 
I like that apparently in all their years of school, they've never once had to share a book with another person. <laughs> to rich school, they have tons of extra books. I <laughs> no, like all of our schools. I would believe that in Japan, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. I'm thinking about my public school experience in which, like, three or four of us would share a book. Oh, yeah. No. All right, look under your desk and see if you have to share a book today. And see if you have a copy. All right, who doesn't have a copy? All right, you share with them and you share with them. Right, go partner up. <laughs> right, hold it like this. <clears throat> We've huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracted me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Bleh. Turn the page. Ah, sorry! I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and I ask me. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh... That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Oh, she has a smirk now. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah! Thanks! We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it in her own thumb. Hey, Yuri! This might be a silly thought, but... The main character can't cap cap that 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 Trevor, are you okay? But that 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 Monica. I think Savvy has needs to go to the nurse's office. I think never Savvy stroke. Call the bondulants. The bond. <clears throat> the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's never like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like it can see. It's not like it can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. All right, back to regular view. You really remain silent for a moment. Regular view. Because she was so cute. She was. But never. That's probably. A terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were so subconscious about that sort of thing. I feel like there's not a good way to say that you are very anxious and second guess everything. <laughs> I do second That's guess not... everything I do. That's not. There's no good intention behind that sentence. I guess I'm more mad that I could say in a cute way. Like you're a manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> oh god. I mean, that's basically that, that sentiment there. It's like, oh, she's fucked up. That's cute. <laughs> uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, I... Wait. <laughs> okay, everyone. 
Uh, I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh. Yuri exhales, spared from fishing her thought. Finishing her thought. And fishing. <laughs> Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. Wrong button. Boom, boom. I was just hoping that we could save. Did someone say save? Save. Oh, wait, did I save? Did I save? Wait, did I save? Wait, did you save? Did I save? Did you? Never did you save. Oh shit, did I save? Wait, Monica's save? writing tip of the day is that you save your game. <laughs> Remember to save your fucking game. Wait, did I save my game? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. You saved, you also skipped Monica's something. <laughs> she had dialogue. Oh, I thought you had already re read it. No. Because <laughs> no. you kept saving. <laughs> oh, shit, the bitch. <laughs> something it. about interrupting her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a bit anyway, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow! Ow, I think I got paper cut from that. <laughs> Yuri slams the book shot on my hand. <laughs> Alright! I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um... I guess... I don't have too much of a preference either way. God damn it! God damn it, why did I double kick? Click. <laughs> it was something in that case, I'll read some tonight. Or something. <clears throat> oh, it'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, right? You know? That's good reasoning. I had to yawn. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright! I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it into my bog. My bog. My bog! Before we start poems, should we take a little break? Yeah, yeah seems like a good a time. Break. Hour and a half in seems like a good place to, uh, Go on a quick you know. little break. Yeah, do little ads. Oh, they still have the messed up note in the music. <laughs> Alright, how long should we make this ad break? Yeah, 120 seconds. And then, uh. uh how about 180 then? You two uh, figure this out. Sure, why back. not? Alright, 180. Here we go. Yeah, put us on the starting soon screen so that we're silent while we're not doing content. Oh. Oh, why do we have the after these messages screen then? That's for when we have to read messages. Ah, tomato, tomato. You know, because they can still hear us right now. Yeah, so this is content for the recorded only viewers. Now they have a reason to watch the recordings. But yeah. I, uh, uh... Yeah, I'll go to the start and say anyway.
back at it. Yay! Break's over! Woo! Love yeah. for us. All right, let's read out our poems. But who should we start with? Should we go up and down like last time? Or down to top to change it up or just pick and choose? Let's go from the bottom. And then... Oh, we're being reverse bottom. Reverse order. Reverse! Reverse! You, you know, know reverse columns. Hi again, Never. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. Well, I mean, I never said it wasn't bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. All I did was look at the dictionary and pick out some words. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. I mean, I randomly generated my poem for crying out loud. You never know. Well, in half times, a monkey with a typewriter would write Shakespeare, you know? Want to share what you wrote for it today? Sure, here we go. I gave my poem to Monica. Mm, Alright. Great job, Never. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Why didn't you say it then? Are you lying to me, Monica? Monica I like your I poem, think you're never. A lying bitch. <laughs> but Monica, that's not what I asked. I like your poem, never. Oh no. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. Did you actually read my poem, Monica? I like your poem, Never. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I'd like to go deep. If you know what I mean. I guess I underestimated you. DC diving, that is. <laughs> gonna say deep into an emotional depressive state Ayo. no that's a yuri i'm a broken man i do like that song that way it always counts when i put in some effort oh <laughs> <laughs> that's not very fair Well, I guess one. it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? What? No. Why, why, why are you insinuating? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. You mean, like, abstract art? It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm I, sure uh, nowhere near her level yet. What was that, other me? 
Nothing. Don't worry about it. All right, radical. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Which is things that what we have inadvertently done. This is the first time we're on, right so first time around we were cutesy and now we're yeah. deep and metaphorical. So we're just going all around this time. Alright, we should try Sayori next time. We're switching up our styles. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Ah, that's a starting sentence. Leave me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Did you scroll past? I can't. Okay. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless load me wow that's weird i don't I know what like this I means i feel like i should save right now hmm It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Both. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. Trial by fire? Eh. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with MySpace on the paper. Oh, you're also on MySpace? Yeah, I have a thousand friends. Wow! <laughs> what song do you have on your page? Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Oh... <laughs> 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 uh. I apparently killed Eric. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I can't even continue what I was about to say. I was going to say, I'm Diary of James by freaking Benjamin. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. Boop. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. It was kind of <laughs> robotic. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. 
or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I think we should probably save. I liked your poem, Never. Wait, you're not even on screen right now. What? <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri. Huh? Yuri. <laughs> Panda huh? just, oh no. <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Does this never. poem make you want to kiss me? What? You'll never like it! <laughs> <laughs> God, that name does lead to some fun results. <laughs> How did you pick up on this so quickly? Pick up what? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really want to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. It's not I'm... the only thing I hope she'll visibly swallow. Wow, I'm a dirtbag. I hope she swallows this, this medication. Oh! Uh, She's that, really depressed. That sounds so much worse. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound like we're trying to roofie her. It's like, no! Uh. Oh no, I was going for a depression joke. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, it's it was funny. all around bad. Yeah. Big rip. <laughs> Man, I miss the skater club. <laughs> Where's the Respect Woman Club? We need them. <laughs> the Respect Woman Club functions like the queer guy. <laughs> they roll up, change your entire life. <laughs> skate away, never to be seen again. <laughs> it was their job was done. Yeah, they just skate away. <laughs> they skate on to a new school. <laughs> All meanwhile doing the sickest tricks on the on their boards. <laughs> a new school in need of respecting women. <laughs> oh god. Even her hands appear sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. I'm not used to this. Yeah, rapping isn't for everybody. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine, take your time. Yeah. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this. Hey, yo, yak. Hello. Jack. Yak. Yakety yak. Yak it's Spike. Hello, Ew. Jack Spike 16. Jack Spike 16. Hey. It probably sounds really stupid. How you doing, Jack? But seeing someone motivated by my writing... We're currently playing. A horror game yes. disguised as a cutesy uh, sim dating sim. Yes, we are. And we are voicing the characters. <laughs> Hold up, did I put because that thing up? Because that's fun. Uh, no, that's the... Uh, okay, there we go. Put in 
things up? Yeah, I forgot to put the warning into the game. <laughs> oh, rip. Well, it would have had the its actual content warning. In yeah, that's an actual content warning, but you know. The literature club is uh, going normal still. We're still normal. Unless you count Monica's poems. I liked your poem, Never. Why do you keep saying that while you're not on screen? You're right, I should save. It just makes me <laughs> really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri not. Really? I don't believe it. I'm like Naruto. <laughs> I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Oh, those people are assholes, then. Do you really think you that? Private. Don't worry. <laughs> no one wants to read my monster erotica. <laughs> wow, you haven't been on the internet recently, have you? <laughs> <laughs> that was... No, I have. It's too much for them. <laughs> Too much for them. <laughs> no, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Most of the self-proclaimed monster fuckers on Tumblr are weak. <laughs> they like things like size <laughs> to f stop them. They're cowards. Again, you're They just want a pretty person that happens to be a vampire. Anything else they think is too much. God. Huh? Even oh, no, does this right? reader insert X the eye of Sauron? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate the thought of that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's all voyeurism. <laughs> They're all fanfic wannabes, yeah. <laughs> Even your close friends? Um... Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway... Do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah... I do. It fits with you. Natsuki's not allowed to read my poems anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the raccoon. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night. I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttling, scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phases and reflects that much more light off, my, off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Okay. Um. Probably Yuri. Jack Spike asks, Who's your favorite girl? 
I guess my I... favorite's Yuri. Yeah, probably. Or... I like Natsuki. I also like Monica, Excuse though. Me. I like Natsuki. Yeah. Yeah, Yuri and Monica are my favorite. Yeah. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. So why are you hiding your raccoon friend? I want to meet them. It's a lot more myth. myth, myth uh, 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 uh. My son. Monica, I think Never is having a stroke again. <laughs> it's just the third time today. <clears throat> it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Oh boy. That's right. Hey, Panda! <laughs> Yeah! We all love Yuri! Man, that yeah. was- that's interesting out of context. I'm the only one out <laughs> of two. <laughs> that too! <laughs> hey, I'm gay as fuck, okay? It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out that it's supposed to me. Panda, I mean it both ways. Well. I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. <laughs> little orange guys, Harvey. <laughs> the little orange guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tiny, tiny baby orange guy is Harvey. <laughs> you, you've made me so small that they can't read my name tag. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Actually, why? Are... <laughs> it's very hard to read. So <laughs> that's very it's funny. It's very tiny. I didn't realize that. That's honestly hilarious. I am the green one. I am Beck. I am reading for Yuri and Monica's voices. Tiny itty bitty little orange baby Harvey <laughs> is reading for Natsuki and Sayori's voices. And I'm Eric. I'm the main douche. Yeah. He's the blue one. He's reading the main character. And the narration. And the narration. Can we read and this? the one saving. Oh, you're right. I should uh, save. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because... They're embarrassing. God, this music is so, like, relaxing. <laughs> people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Never? Well... I like to play maracas. This guy is not at all on the same page. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. No, I don't. He does not know what the raccoon is a metaphor for. But anyway, where is the raccoon? I really want to meet the little guy. Never. No. <laughs> Do I need to get a rabies shot first? Oh no.
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, you didn't pull him off. He's tiny, he's small. Yeah, well, he was yeah, small. Eric's the one who littled me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have the power now, bitch. You oh, got him there. unlittled. Yeah, I made you a bit bigger now. But, uh, that's better. <laughs> make him, make him microscopic. <laughs> He's so small. He, he just went behind me. <laughs> you look like a little, tiny little paper wing. Oh wait, wait, wait! Can you? Can, can, can you put you him put in put one me? of the desks? Yeah, put me at the desk on the. Yep, on the I right grab side. something else. <laughs> Yeah, put him on this desk at the right. God damn it, keep grabbing something else. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes! Uh, that one makes more sense. <laughs> this classroom isn't empty. <laughs> hold up, hold up. We're having a literature club, but there is just one student still in the classroom. He won't leave. Hey guys, I'm part of this literature club too. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're all in the scene. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all part of the <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this actually looks funny. Anyway, back to Yuri. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Okay. Oh, what? What's wrong? I, I switched tabs accidentally. Oh, no. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Mm. I I might be ranting a little bit now. Arby is the only student that picks the farthest seat, even though there's oh, only five students in the me class. In class, though. <laughs> that you're a good listener. Alright, now so Yuri, right? Oh no, wait, uh, I gotta save first. Remember, save. I like your poem, never. You're right, I should save. Are you sure you saved? Ah, oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Oh wait, did I save? Let's find out. Yeah, Alright. There we go, that's a save. Let's stack the net. I'm going to beat you to death, Never, if you save one more time. <laughs> but... But... <laughs> but... Uh... Uh... I almost big sight it's a Yori by accident. Hmm. Well it ain't terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would com be completely pissed. Combi. Combi. That's my favorite Pokemon, Combi. Oh, Combi is pretty cute. Well, I guess... 
I would have taken you more for a spin that type of person. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what what's the the big old like panda that beats the shit out of you? Uh it's the pink one. The pink one? Yeah, it's the it's, pink it's one. Like, it's, it's pink, like the pink it's bear. Like a pinkish. Yeah, it's a pink yeah, bear. It's like a pink panda bear, and it beats the shit out of you if you get too close to it. Yeah, it, like, and it always has like a deadpan face. Yeah, beware. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, beware. Oh, that's the right, one I was right. talking about. The bear that beats the shit out of you. Yeah. I was. For, I, was I forgot his belly was pink. He's like pink, pink. Not the head is pink too. Right. Yeah. Okay, wait. I gotta look up beware. Yeah, beware. What beware's pink? Yeah, they have. They definitely have pink on them. It doesn't even have a belly, Harvey. All right. Okay, it's just the head that's pink. No, I, I was definitely talking about beware. Beware is what I was thinking of. What's Pangoro? Oh, wait, oh, it's, it's Pangoro the, 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 like, the delinquent panda. Delinquent? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> delinquent panda. Beware is a panda, right? Or is it not? Did I just think it was no, a panda? I think it's just a bear. Yeah, that's just like a, bear. Like a black. Yeah, just a bear. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was a panda. Because it has more than one color? <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Well, like... just, in my mind, it was a panda bear about to throw down. <laughs> oh, shiny beware is cute. <laughs> what color is shiny beware? It's gold. Oh. Its head is gold instead of pink. Huh, it makes it look like Winnie the Pooh. Aww. I also like that beware just kind of looks like it's wearing a suit. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It's just a bear in a onesie. He just wears <laughs> clothes. Doesn't want to be naked. Me too. It's cold. It's cold in the forest. But yeah, anyway, that's Pokemon... enough. Yeah. That's enough <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon in the Doki Doki stream. <laughs> All Pokemon actually gonna... wear wear clothes. Um, mm -hmm. That's how they. That's how you tell the species based on what clothes they're wearing. I see. Yeah. I do want to say though, if if. If Natsuki was gonna have any Pokemon, I think it would be Milsuri. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see that, yeah. A little fairy type milk drop thing that turns into a fucking ice cream. No, I was gonna say Jigglypuff. Because it's cute, but it's always fucking pissed. Yeah. Yeah. But because she likes baking, and Milsuri oh, yeah. evolves into Alchemy, and Alchemy, if you uh, Gigantamax it, becomes that giant, like, seven tiered cake. Mm -hmm. I find food Pokemon so weird. Yeah, they're they're a little unsettling. Like, there's so many love, of them at the same time. I like, this love is Milsuri weird. Milsuri and Alchemy. They're very cute Pokemon. Yeah. I love I love Mill series. The like all oh, food book are always so weird to me. It's like uh The uh, design of Milsery makes me think of the the honey milk that they drink in Ponyo. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It just looks like a floating drop of milk. Anywho. <laughs> me too, Panda. <laughs> what a statement, I love that. Okay. <laughs> and I want Lucario or Jigglypuff to knock me out with punch or singing. Fair enough, I guess. I want a Snorlax so I can, like, nap on top of it and no one will bother us because it's a fucking Snorlax and it will wreck your shit if you piss it off. Well, I have to have a stronger Pokemon, though. Um... Then Just damn. get a level 100 Pokemon, the Snorlax. Oh. <laughs> they can't fight me if they can't wake up my Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> I just buy every single one of those flutes or whatever you need in, in the old games. 
Aha, there's the catch. You don't buy it. <laughs> you have to yeah. buy the shit. Well, that's why the one kid needs to find it because, because I you bought, bought them every all. single. <laughs> You're the reason <laughs> that Snorlax is in the way. <laughs> yeah. I bought every single flute. I had them all destroyed, and then me and Snorlax took a nap in the middle of the street. <laughs> it's like, really? In the middle? Specifically to spite this one ten-year-old child. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met you, but what the fuck? Well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you in particular. <laughs> yeah, there's a... You know, children deserve to be spite. To to be spite on sometimes. To be spite on. <laughs> God, this went off topic. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> that Snorlax is part of Team Rocket, and I was too. Uh. Well, anyways. <laughs> Back to the literature. Sorry to take us on a tangent. God, I went. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't as bad as last stream, though. We could do it a lot better. <clears throat> well, I guess I want to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't <laughs> expect you to find your style right away. <laughs> Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? <clears throat> you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for long enough, you might be on the same wavelength or whatever. But you never sh really struck me as her type. <clears throat> what? So Yuri has a type all of a sudden? Yeah, well, well I, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone that is so fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? Huh? You're right. Asshole. You're right. I should just let you just go. Yeah, you should. Climbs out the window. Wait, no, we're in second story. Oh no, respect women club. Catch him. <laughs> oh no, they finished the job here to God. Sorry, we only help women. <laughs> we can't help him. We only help women and people who respect women. <laughs> He's got no respect in his heart. <laughs> he must perish. He must perish. Oh, we... Respect women juice boxes. Own dry. <laughs> we must. We must cleanse the world from all who do not respect the women. Let him perish. <laughs> It's like she's dragging around dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You know, like that Pokemon Drift Loom. It's so fast. <laughs> and so high up. I could never throw a Pokemon. 20 minutes I spent just chucking. <laughs> Chucking Pokeballs <laughs> at a flying balloon. <laughs> Does the, the disrespect is strong in this one? Darth Hater. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. <clears throat> you could say we take each, we take care of each other in our own way. Ah, well, whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show you mine. Yeah. 
Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. Her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably like talks to about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt one anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Well, okay. <laughs> not bad, right? Uh... That's... Hmm. That was quite a thing. It's... Kinda fucked up. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Today, way too short. It was just a warm up. I hope you didn't like, didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes, you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Cause I think it's about how everyone thinks my that doesn't matter. I it can be about anything. <laughs> and uh, we here at Never Lost support the Respect Women Club, or the RWC for short. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, did you pay your RWC dues? Yeah, of course. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid people find out they'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh, that's funny. You are row about something similar today. Huh? Did you, did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Italy. Oh, Jack Spike asks, so who's Amy? Oh, that's a question. <laughs> Who is Amy? I think that's kind of up to interpretation. It's the point of a poem. Oh, Amy was the name of the poem. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I was I my mind immediately jumps to Amy from Sonic. What? <laughs> Amy yeah, Rose. Eric's Eric's dude bro, bro voice sounds like Sonic to me, so that's my mind. <laughs> Does it? Is that what Sonic sounds like? I, sometimes. I mean, yeah, he has the nineties like kind of yeah, like a uh, scare pitch, dude, like, but like, yeah. But like, what? you doing that voice is like pretty much exactly what Sonic sounds like. Oh no, I sound like Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Do, do the boys real quick then? When when you do the voice. What do you mean I sound like Sonic? Yeah. You're yeah. very close, yeah, actually. <laughs> You're very close to, like, the 90s Sonic. Why am I so good at accidentally being character? <laughs> <laughs> this is no, the yeah. Waluigi wow, all over again. That's that's a persic, uh, perfect uh, sad I am, Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I do want a chili dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, that's the only way I'll eat a hot dog. <laughs> well, I don't like plain hot dogs. Anyway, back to Doki Doki. <clears throat> back to the Hedgehog. <laughs> I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding words. I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. She, she feels insecure about all weird behaviors uh, and stuff. I mean, I always hate when people make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. Yeah, but the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. Yeah, it's what I do best, after all. I, I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, so look forward to it. I think that's everyone. Did I say? Yeah, I hey, think you I forgot saved. me. No, I think I haven't saved. Dot. I like this one, Never. It has a nice feelings in it. Ah, uh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm. Let me think. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. That's why I just go by heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Well, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, oh, you wanna write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you end up getting hurt or you'll end up getting hurt at some point. Yeah. Oh. I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. 
Let's see. Mm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. They're just words for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. Happy and sad? Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes you have to have a little rain cloud in your head. You have? Yeah. A sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. And make a nice happy rainbow. <laughs> Sappy or had? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Me too, Jack Spike. We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. <laughs> Is it? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Never. I should go write that down then. Can you read my poem now, okay? Oh, right. I forgot about that. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all riding, rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put in the bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friends, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave and discovering the secrets in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time to lapse. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from myself, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friends, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling, they're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap! Yeah, I'm depressed. I can tell! Did you really write this? Of course I did. I didn't tell you yesterday, I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. That poem was about brain spaghetti. Brain Monica spaghetti. taught me the whole... Brain spaghetti. <laughs> brain There's spaghetti. vomit on my robes already. <laughs> Just the, the pulling out memory, I'll be honest. <laughs> like, I was thinking about that, but then I thought of uh, when Not Another D&D podcast had one of their little, like, mini arcs. Yeah. <laughs> the Hot Boy Summer. Uh, Maverick Chronicles. <laughs> they, there was brain spaghetti. 
So sad that I'll never finish that now. Oh, it was so fun. Yeah, but I had no time to listen to it. Mm. No, that's... Uh, you get... I found that spell. It's like in some... One of the... Yeah, it's called Brain Spaghetti. <laughs> No, yeah, it's 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 like just like a cantrip, but it's in um like one of the adventure modules. So I didn't find it until like just. Oh, recently. it's a cantrip. Yeah. Interesting. Anywho, Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I, I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard I don't hard like about knowing it. that you're a person with complex feelings and emotions. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the Respect Woman Club is eyeing me down. <laughs> I must I go and to... treat you like a human being instead of just an object. That sometimes I want to interact with. I was going to hide it before the Respect Women Club finds me again. The point is, it came out good. So you should be proud of it. Huh, oh, thanks. I feel like. Like I was meant to express myself this way. It helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten really pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Writing is the RWC back. Their work here is not done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> don't get don't get ahead of yourself. So you always it's always had a few more poems. So you always... Yeah. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> Sayori's always had a hat had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if mm -hmm. this one's I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in here. Oh god. <laughs> you just gonna call him out call him out like that? I say it lovingly. <laughs> that boy has a new hobby every time I talk to him. That is true. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this a festival? Well, sort of. Really, they have to do something for the festival. Not like we can just put together something good in a couple of days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. Yeah. That's concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to do for the event. 
Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Pullman? Uh, um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Oh god, now that there's multiple of them on screen, this the setup I had for us looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> it does. That's a kid's man. <laughs> I'm the devil on your shoulder. There you go. That's key. Could you get out of the way? You're kind of like elbowing me a bit. Oh, Jack's, Jack Spike says, Yeah. Do it. Strike them down, and your journey to the disrespectful side will be complete. <laughs> Emperor, <laughs> not pals, fatigue. <laughs> man, Jack, you're killing it, man. <laughs> I love it, Jack Spike. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. You're killing me. Anyway, everyone back to your places. God, you're so tiny. <laughs> there we go. You've done this, Eric. I have. Hold up, I'm trying to uh, remedy it. There, better. Yeah. Let, let's let's hurry up so we can end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayori is putting it on on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You, you you didn't. You didn't already start putting up those posters, did you? Jack Spike, you're keeping it plenty fun. Oh, yeah. Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Uh, well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine, Anna. Yuri shakes her head in fear. God. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. It's about expressing your feelings. But being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. And uh, the hair covering the eyes club, aka HCEC, versus Respect Woman Club, aka RWC. 
Love that. Uh. <laughs> That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. Hey, Harvey. Uh-huh. Can the RWC be an emote? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want Respect Woman Club as an emote. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we can do that. I feel like that's pretty on brand for us, we, too. We need more subscribers so we can have more emotes. Oh, Respect Woman Club is so on brand for us. Oh, are we on oh, emotes uh, already? Oh, yeah, we only get one emote for each tier. Darn. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. We we can put it on a poll and see like uh, what's the most requested emote, and then mm -hmm. we'll uh. Do we have other requested emotes right now? Uh, nothing specifically requested, but you know, I'm sure people want something. You know, we'll we, we'll put a poll. Put a poll. But yeah, we'll vote for that to be an emote. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me, my little gremlin face. Uh, something about reciting a poem in front of people for two minutes, and I know you can do it. <clears throat> Not skiing you, you remain silent. But Yuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I do see Yuri and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Maybe, but... Mm. <laughs> it looks like Natsuki really doesn't have any arguments left. Oh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over with it. Alrighty. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I... I guess I don't really have a choice. Well, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. Mm, those eyes don't seem to say the same thing. But, anyway. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Monica? This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? 
<laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem that she has in mind for herself. She dance dance behind the podium. You guys actually want to uh, end it here? Uh, we we could, yeah. Yeah. Because Let's I know Harvey wants to sleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've already took my sleep pill. Yeah. You already took your sleep pill. All right, I then did. yeah, it we're. Takes, it we're... takes a while for it to. I see. Go in, sometimes. You know, yeah, I yeah. got an early morning tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we're gonna end it here then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just wanna. Yeah, as we're oh, going. I want to write a poem for Monica. That'd be nice. <gasps> Remember to check Never Lost Out on Twitter and Insta. That's the best way to find Never Lost news. TikTok. We got fun and cool clips on there. And you know that's a great way to Elliot. support us. You know. You like, share, comment on oh. our TikToks. We get shown to a bunch more people. And that uh, is good for Never Last, you know? More people see us. Uh, more uh, streams we'll be able to make. And, you know, we'd like to be able to make more streams. Hell yeah, man. Anything y'all want to say? Um, as usual, we stream every Wednesday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Wednesdays, we stream co-op. On Sundays, we stream horror. And actually, this week, on the 16th, the, this Thursday, I am going to do an extra stream. <gasps> For a game that's coming out on Thursday called Eastward. Ooh. Yeah. Extra stream. So yeah, on Thursday I'm going to be streaming that. At what time? I'm not actually sure. I'll let you know at some point. <laughs> hey, I'll, uh, if it's later in the day, I'll be able to catch that one. But yeah. Maybe it'll be the start of finally doing single player games. Ooh. But yeah, keep an eye out on that for now. All right. With that, let's just say good night, everyone, and don't get lost without us. Good night. Bye.